she's in the studio. Okay, let's do that then. Ready? Okay. Uh, we're rolling, so on three, two, go, Terry. Hello, I'm Terry McDermott. Uh, this is my friend and co-writer, Todd Berman. How are we doing, guys? Um, we wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about what's been going on, and thank, to thank you for the support regarding the new track, Pictures, which has gone up and is going viral as we speak. It's going crazy. It is going crazy. It's amazeballs. Um, we wanted to answer a couple of tweets and give you a little insight into the track and what we're doing going forward. Um, and one of the, straight off the bat, one of the, the questions I think that gets right to it is, uh, it's from Shannon, Rock Goddess XO, X, X, X0, either that or it's a smiley face, I don't know. Um, so what was the inspiration behind your new song? Um, I think everyone can relate to uh, lost love or, or love that's uh, from a distance, uh, something that you still think about. And I've wanted for a long time to write a track in that vein, um, and this this idea has been rattling around for a long time. And when I heard the piece of music that Todd had been working on, it felt like we had the guts of something that was going to be pretty special. Yeah, and we'd wanted to work together for quite a while. Originally sent Terry the music with the music part here, and then Terry and I just spent Wednesday two days ago. Get to hear Terry coming in with this. Bloody hell. You fade These are all Terry's actual takes from uh, what you heard on that Terry put up on his SoundCloud. I know some of you are interested in what goes on behind the scenes in the studio. Terry originally had. Uh, we originally had a melody when we changed it to this on Wednesday. Bit sunny on the dashboard. Bit of harmony. Hearts racing on the back roads. And then this one came in. I got pictures of you in my head. Killing me slowly that you're not around. I'm feeling like a ghost town. I got pictures of you. That was the whole thing that when Terry and I originally agreed to get down and write the song, there was a, a whole concept of the visual that s the lyric of pictures of you in my mind of what it represents. And Terry was very specific about the lyrics being very visual. I think um, the snapshots of your past um, often do linger. It's what it, you know, people say that life is just a collection of moments. Yeah. And some of those moments are from relationships or from you know, and, and something, an image you see inspires that feeling again and I think that's what this song is all about and also I was very inspired growing up by the likes of the Eagles, Don Henley and, um, and I think I wanted to have a lyrical content that I felt I was kind of paying some sort of homage to the kind of songwriting that inspired me so much and I think this track's kind of got that. Yeah. So, um, other questions we've got here, um, well some people are saying probably a dumb question, but where would we see the video blog? Of course you're looking at it now, so you know Doing it, it right is. Now. It's on YouTube. Did they um, say something in regards to more songs? Yeah. Um, we've got people asking us, uh, will we be expecting more rock songs uh, from our collaboration? Well, Todd and, Todd and I's background... We've a collection here. Yeah, a yeah. big collection. Todd and I's background is both in rock and roll. Todd and I met in 2006 when his, his band was touring with Drive Blind, his band Duke Cartel from Australia was touring with Drive Blind. So we've known each other a long time and our origins are very much in, in, uh, in rock bands. So yes, there's going to be more harder collaborations. The next song is a rock song. The next song is a rock song. You see? See what happened there? That's how we roll. Um, people are saying, when you write original songs, I've got Lynn Plissence, Lynn at Lynn Plissence, uh, when you write original songs, where does your musical inspiration come from? Well, I think real life events have been by far the majority um, of, of my inspiration and that's purely because I, I think it has to be real. I think you, you can't fake um, you can't fake a song no. uh, and I think that's what makes a connection with people. That's how Terry and I connected because I sent the track to Terry and he connected to it and he, yeah. the first time that he sent me his original vocal, which is the verse that you are hearing now, it's pretty much exactly what Terry sent me the first time and that put put shivers down my spine, hairs standing on the end and I'm like, we have to work together. Well, this, this, the track is going to be released, it's going to come out and be for sale uh, in the not too distant future. At the moment we just want people to hear it and get to love it, um, so that when that time comes, uh, you've got all you wonderful people out there, McHobbits and such, uh, spreading the word. And of course in the meantime we're going to be working on more music 
and um, that's people there asking, we've got Joanna asking, will it be for sale and a video for it? Well, I'd like to thank DZR Images for uh, for hosting this video blog. Our dad is behind the camera over here, there's, there's Don. Um, and just a, a little refresher there, you can reach us on Twitter, at Terry Mac Music for myself. I bring it up closer. Because Sorry, we've got at Terry Mac Music for myself, at Todd M. Berman for Todd. See what we did there? And at DZR Images. So a big thank you to Don and DZR Images. Uh, yeah, so we'll continue trying to work magic in the studio. In the meantime, enjoy pictures and thank you very much for your support. Cheers. Cheers, guys.